Hey, what's up, body bags? This is Austin here. Welcome back to another review. I'm your Wednesday host, as always, and today I'm coming at you guys with a found footage film from the from the year 2015, and that is Hangman. Um, now the uh, premise of this movie has been done, you know, kind of multiple times, including like uh, with the found footage style. Uh, it's basically just about this uh, family who comes back from vacation and they find out that their um, house has been broken into and uh, yeah, after they like uh, clean everything up, they just kind of go back to living their normal lives and uh, yeah, they are unaware that someone has placed kind of like cameras all around the house and um, this dude is living in their attic and just watching their every move and just stalking them and doing like creepy shit and uh, yeah just messing with them and stuff like that and uh, yeah he doesn't really have any motive whatsoever he's just some random you know uh, creep that's doing this so uh, yeah you know the plot of the movie sounds pretty generic it is like a really basic story um, I wish they kind of would have done a little bit more with it you know you know, did through a little bit of a curveball in this story, um, but like this movie really is pretty effective uh, at, for what it is. Uh, there are some really really creepy uh, scenes um, in this one, like the dude just like um, watching them sleep and stuff like that, and just doing like really weird stuff, just like standing there in the middle of the night, just doing nothing, and uh, yeah, just. Um, doing other stuff to, like, really mess with them. Yeah, it's a really, really, um, really creepy movie. Like, uh, it's really basic, but it is effective for, uh, what it does. And, uh, yeah, if you can't, uh, trying to see if you can get a clear shot of what the dude looks like. But, uh, yeah, he has this, like, really creepy mask on and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it's just, like, a really, it's just, like, a really, you know, eerie movie because, like, it's kind of one of those movies, like, you watch, you put in, and it's, like, you know, no, there's nothing really special about it, but it's like one of those movies you watch and you like hear a noise and you look over your shoulder and you just like get paranoid for some reason. It kind of has that effect um, on you, but uh, yeah, nothing really too um, you know groundbreaking with this movie. Like I said, this has done, been done plenty of times. Um, movie uh, Thirteen Cameras came out a couple years ago, and um, that one short, Ty West short from. Uh, um, VHS is a lot like this, but, uh, yeah, this is probably the best, you know, the best, uh, done, a uh, most effective one out of all of them. I just wish, you know, they would have done a little bit more, um, add something different to the story, maybe, and the outcome. Uh, you know exactly where this movie's heading from the beginning, but, like I said, it's an enjoyable movie, it's tense, and, um, yeah, it does its job for, uh, you know, what it's trying to do, I guess, so I think I'd probably give this maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I know a lot of people are uh, fans of this movie who really aren't fans of found footage films. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think regardless, you know, check this one out. You might, there are a lot of people like it more than, uh, more than I do, actually. So, yeah, definitely check it out. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the awesome reviews for the week, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.